to buy a car. Very excited about it. We just stopped at the services to get a tea. We're not too far away now, we're like 45 minutes. Hi Mitchell, which was here, obviously he's driving. But I haven't actually seen this car that I've bought, but I tell you, I haven't actually seen it at all. Mitchell went and saw it and put the deposit down on it on is it Thursday? It's Saturday today. Yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday night. So yeah, I'm gonna do like a reaction to see my Fitness. I'm going to do a reaction to see my car for the first time and yeah, I'm very excited. I feel like it's kind of a bit silly to buy a car that you haven't seen before but I trust Mitchell obviously and our friend Rupert went as well and I trust him too. So yeah. We're five minutes out, we've just had to stop the car for a chicken that ran across the road. Like a legit chicken. So I'm going to try and like set up my phone so I can record my like reaction, but I don't know how his neither of my tripods fit on this dashboard, so we'll see. I'm obviously looking to the camera, I keep looking forward until you spot it. I'm nervous, I'm really nervous. I'm not. I'm only nervous because I've never seen it before and I'm paying a lot of money for a car that I've never seen before. Oh my god. Hi. Thank you. Um, we've just driven like 10 minutes down the road to the service. It is to stop because I need to go for a wee. Yeah, I'm just, I've been watching it. I'm like behind Mitchell's driving that car, the Beetle, and I'm driving the um, BMW for now because he's a, he's a more experienced driver. And um, yeah, we we'll just wait until I get home and then I can like try and drive it. I don't really want to do like straight away to a hundred and something, 120 mile trip home in a car that I've never driven before, and I've, I've driven this car before. Plus I get a little anxious on long journeys, so it works out better this way. Um, plus this car has aircon and um, cruise control, so I think I get the better deal, but then he gets to drive the Beetle, so. But also that way he can tell like if there's anything that I need to know about um, before I do drive it. I've got a really big spot coming off on my cheek. Not cheek, chin. Um, yeah. Wow, the aircon's on and my hair's going. We've just stopped in Lakeside. I'm actually just getting back in the cars to go off now to we're gonna stop in Maystone on the way home yeah we just stopped to go for a wee and get some food but I'd update you on the, the trip so far which was in the little bug I'm in the big car again <laughs> right time to set off bye <laughs> Um, it's three weeks later, as per usual with any video that I film, we're doing the second half <laughs> later on. Yeah, I thought I'd do a little car tour sort of thing, so I just didn't film um, the rest of the video on that day because after the clips of us on the motorway, literally the last ones you've just seen, there was a crash like just ahead of us and we had to pull over, like make sure the family was all fine, they were fine, they were absolutely fine. And then yeah, I just sort of had a little cry to myself and got myself a bit wound up and then didn't want to film for the rest of the day. We then took the car to the beach and then drove it home and realised there's some issues with the lights, but I'll show you that in a moment when I go outside with my neighbours going towards. And I need to drive to the supermarket, so I think I might take it to Tesco or something. Take it out again. I took it out this morning, went to a meet. Um, I didn't film anything there. Probably should have, but I didn't. Thought I'd do a little intro to a car tour. Hi. It's like months later. It's literally November and I started filming this in July. So <laughs> I'm going to finally film the um, a car tour bit now. There she is. So there's like all this shit in the way. Uh, my bike, Mitchell's bike.
the ring light's really doing bits right now because it's so dark in this carriage <laughs> yeah this is the inside obviously you can't really see much right now i'll give you a little tour so here's the glove box you just sort of twist to undo there's a lot of spider webs in here that I like I'm only just seeing them now. I actually need to take, need to take this cable out. There's nothing else in there except a spanner. That spanner literally goes on nearly every single bolt that I've tried to undo in this car so far. It's got a radio. It has got um, Bluetooth as well. Um, it's got like aux Bluetooth. There's a bit for USB. So yeah, it does everything that you need it to do really. And it's like got like a vintage look to it. So it's meant to like it's meant to like look part of the car. It kind of does to be fair. And then we've got. I think our lights, uh, windscreen wipers, which you turn, that's as fast as they go, that's as low as they go on the windscreen. These bits are both like plugged up, I'm not sure what was going on here, or what's meant to be there. And this one's got like a bit where it did have something, but it doesn't anymore. These bits are just like twisties for the vents, but I don't think they actually do anything at the moment. I haven't noticed a difference when driving using them. Also this, I think this is meant to be for the windscreen washer fluid, but nothing happens so yeah there's a ashtray and then the hazard lights um and then yeah the speedo you'll see it goes all the way up to 90 miles an hour this car does not go up to 90 miles an hour at all nowhere near actually it's like 60 65 are really like downhill it might get to 65 but yeah she struggles and she's like loud so um over here's the horn it's quite fun <laughs> It's got a, an aftermarket steering wheel. I don't think this is anything special. And it's bolted on one key. Like, this is wheel straight. Um, yeah, it's not it's not on straight at all. But it's fine. It's one of those little things that you can fix. It does have the bamboo shelf. And I've got a little crochet blanket here that my mum made. And COVID. There's some other shit in here as well that I need to go. There's some cloths and some like glass cleaner. Um, it does have on the little wire baskets as well. I don't know how well you can see that. You probably can't see it at all. Wind up windows, doesn't have electric windows because it's 50 years old. There's only one windscreen, the, uh, like mirror, that isn't one on this side at all because, yeah, it's a 50 year old car. These seats are actually different as well. These are Astra GTC seats. I think they're from Mark 1 Astra. Um, they're all right. I have to sit on a cushion to be able to see out of the car because they're quite low down. Um, and I'm small, I'm only five foot five, so I have to sit on a cushion. Mitchell's fine using them, he's absolutely fine. They are very comfy, it's just I'm too small for them, so like I'm sat on a cushion right now. Um, it does have a back bench, um, I don't really think you can see it, but it does have one, it's a cloth one. And then there's like speakers and stuff on the back. That's pretty much it for the inside. Yeah, there isn't really much else on the inside, so I'll show you the outside. We'll um, start up at the front. It doesn't have the indicators that usually sit up there. It's got these ones down the bottom instead. And obviously there's no bumper at the front. The number plate's really wonky. I'm sorry about that. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the front. Um, obviously on the inside of here, there is no engine. Uh, the wires are such a mess as well. Me and my dad have been trying to like sort that out. Um, we're slowly rewiring stuff. It's got a new fuel tank in it and the little horn. Just about to see the back of the um, stereo there. And then everything else is pretty much old um, and needs looking at so that's a project for probably next year when summer's back come around to the driver's side the only wing mirror which as you're driving does tilt so you have to put your arm out the window and put it back up there's like a bunch of shit in my garage i'm sorry i got my startup sticker for my so retro you really can't see shit it's so dark yeah you really can't see so i've got pretty much all red brake lights so this one's normal lights this one's brake lights and this does nothing um, I think this is also indicators. I think these flash. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, under here, obviously, is the engine. Um, I'm not going to get that out today because it's in the garage and I really can't be asked to drive it out of the garage. So I'm not going to. Which kind of sounds bad, but you know, I'm just I'm just not up for it today. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the car. I have got a startup stick on the back as well. Um, these are both really off center and I didn't realize that this was off center. And then I put this one on and then after I put it on, I realized that I've centered it with that and the center's actually like over here somewhere. So if you look at it from an angle, you can't tell. There's the speakers I was saying about earlier. So I'm going to start the car up now because it's, it hasn't started for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to pop you somewhere and start her up. <laughs> I 
I should really like drive it around the block or something, but I don't have anyone to like spot me getting back into the garage and it's quite tight. So I'm not gonna do that today. Maybe I'll do it at the weekend or something if Mitchell's off work. Yeah, I think this is gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want more Beetle content, please let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah. I just realized I didn't tell you any like facts about the car, like the year and like the engine size. It's a 1971, so it's 50 years old this year. I actually got the logbook through 50 years to the day that it was registered, which made me kind of like, oh, hi Mowgli, Mowgli's here. It's originally like forest green, like dark forest green. It's obviously been repainted to that, the color that it is now, the bluey tealy color, which I love, like really love. It does need some like work. As it is, it does need some rust treatment. There is some bits on the bottom, like underneath, that need like patching up, sealing up. I don't know. I don't know how welding works. I do want to change those seats as well. I was saying that I have to sit on a cushion to see out of them because they're quite low down. I might even want to change them or try and get like rails that can lift the seat up so that it's not so low down to the ground because I literally can't see otherwise. What else? What else? So when I started it up, it didn't hold the idle. It does that sometimes when like you'll start up, rev it a little bit, and it will stay idling, and then when you start driving, when you come to a stop after you start, start driving, like if you get to traffic lights and it's red light and you have to stop, and it will cut out sometimes, which is kind of annoying. So like, I've I've managed to like teach myself how to like heel toe it a little bit and hold my foot on the brake, but also rev it a little bit. The other side of my foot. <laughs> but yeah, these are just like little quirks with the car. It's a 50 year old car, so it's gonna have like, there's little bits, you know? The paintwork isn't like perfect or anything either. And um, it really does need like maybe respraying. I think, if I get all the rust treatment done, there's some like surface bits that need sorting as well. So I think the plan is to get the bottom underneath rust sorted, um, try and hopefully get it sorted over winter so it's ready to drive again in spring. So after it's had the rust treatment done, I wanna have the whole body rubbed down and resprayed. I know that's gonna cost me a lot of money, but the outside of the car does have a lot of little like paint cracks and like where the paint has cracked, it's rusted slightly underneath. So to keep it, you know, safe. I'm thinking, rub it down, paint it. I do want to keep the colour, I want to like get that colour again. So hopefully I can get someone who can like paint match it. Um, Because I have no idea what colour that is or anything. Yeah, the car didn't really come with any like history or anything. The guy that I bought it from had like rebuilt the engine and got it back on the road because he bought it as a non-runner. But his wife didn't like it, so he bought a bus instead. <laughs> and sold the Beetle to me, so. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything else you wanna know, let me know in the comments and I can do like a follow-up video or just reply to you guys in the comments. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like and subscribing and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye from Oakley.